The flourishing SME segment in the country has never been more empowering in the new normal as we break through with resilience and grit to recover and adapt to digitalization through the entrepreneurial spirit. In a time when community centers, home-based businesses, and aspiring local entrepreneurs are responding to the daily needs of Filipinos today, data connectivity has never been more significant for everyday living. Converge Business SME Services is at the forefront of this breakthrough. From the humble beginnings of Dennis Uy, Converge Business aims to serve the underserved, believing that we can grow our own small businesses, that we are all SMEs. Making Converge Business as your primary source can boost your advantage and growth. With its world-class fiber optic network, micro-entrepreneurs gain more advantage in the current digital arena with robust technology that can seize opportunities to go all digital. Entrepreneurs humbly begin with a vision to grow and expand through their passion and determination. In the competitive business landscape, small to medium enterprises need to adapt services and products to reach more Filipinos here and around the world. As a primary provider, Converge is a world-class ICT company with the most resilient and superior fiber optic service in the Philippines that continues to delight millions of its users in the consumer space, serving a growing number of business clients in the SME, enterprise, and wholesale segment. Converge Business is for SMEs, providing a partnership that offers subscription models that allow businesses more options and flexibility. It is your own gateway to the world, a partner to springboard your success. Leveraging on our strong network architecture, Converge Business can provide impactful broadband solutions to your business. With Converge Business SME services, equip your business with the right tool to jumpstart your progress to the next level. We leverage on innovative technologies to bring you what matters. Results. It is time to be in control. Converge Business SME services. Results mean progress. You know, the Filipino entrepreneur is innovative, you know? that's one, you know? and they are very creative also. That's our things, you know? and not just on that, they are really think out of the box. You are innovative guy, you, know? you deep thinkers. So when the pandemic hit us, this SME, if they have fast thinker, fast innovate and fast transform went to digital there's a lot of opportunity when you have the basic requirement to transform in the digital during this pandemic is the digital highway which is lucky enough this is my business and we built this digital highway for the transform of this assembly You know, I think this is sort of like a uh, survival. Eh, no? well, when you start in uh, hardship, in uh, you grow up with a hardship. No? During my young, younger age, hindi ko na tigman yung tipong you have this uh, good opportunity to play with your classmates. Whatever spare of time I have, I want to maximize my time. When I start, I start really small. No? This is really. Uh, SME type. My technical, I have employee number one still with me. I'm the one driving and climbing the pole to lay down these wires. I seen the technology roadmap. Start with the dial up days. I'm in the computer and innovation of cable internet, innovation of fiber. So now in the cloud. So you can see the whole landscape. Without this fiber technology, this new digital highway we built. You cannot that have quality of connection. 
digital uh, broadband, digital uh, communication nowadays is very essential. And if you notice, even your rich or your poor, you know, they need a stable, high-speed and quality connection. Right ng tao na meron access ng high quality of broadband. When there's a crisis, there's always an opportunity. So the pandemic hit us. This is a crisis the whole world. So that's why important you are really ready for your infrastructure. We found our service become a lifeline of the individual because of you need to have a quality and stable connection. And good thing during this pandemic, we put more resources. This should be a right to aid individual usage, you know, regardless of uh, what business you have, big or small. But if you ask me to advise SME how they can be successful in the business, number one, you need to have a passion in, uh, in your business. Number two, you need to have a deep knowledge about on your line of business. Don't come to the business you don't understand. They just tell you, oh, this kind of business is a follow. There is no such thing successful. You just follow someone. We link the whole uh, country and this underserved and unserved area, uh, we make sure uh, by uh, 2023 or 2024, we will reach them. We will give them a digital highway. The digital highway, we have to them to connect to the whole, not just on the Philippines, the whole world. This is the digital highway, virtually. You can see, you can bring your business in virtual world. So that's the key role of the Converge Now. with our program, I would like to remind everyone present here in the Zoom to please rename yourselves in Zoom to your registered full names so we can identify you. Now, please be reminded as well to mute your microphone to avoid unnecessary noise during the program. Now, if any assistance is needed, you may chat with any of our co-hosts in the Zoom or simply type your questions in the chat box. Now, if you're all settled, then let's begin. So, magandang hapon ulit sa inyong lahat. Sana ay nakakain na kayo ng lunch din yun. I see that we have a lot of guests today. And of course, we want to know saan saan kaya ang ating mga guests ngayon. Ayan, so alamin natin yan. Mag-attendance check muna tayo. So, type in the chat box kung, ta kung taga saan ka at kung saan kilala o sikat ang lugar niyo. Okay, so ako muna. Ako po, taga Quezon City po ako and we are known as the biggest city in Metro Manila. O, di ba? Ang laki-laki talaga na Quezon City. O, yan. So that is what my city is known for. And tell you all, let us know, okay? So let me know in the in the chat box. Just type in where you're from and, and saan kilala ang inyong lugar. Okay, so we have, hello to Sir Edward from Laguna. Wow. So we also have from Barangay Valencia, Quezon City. Oh, Quezon City tayo. Oh, ang ganda. So we also have um, Christian. Okay, hi Christian. We also have from Parinaque City, Mr. Mark. Okay, and we have Chester. He is from... Um, Jensen, the tuna capital of the Philippines. Oh, yeah, sarap-sarap ng tuna. And na-try ko actually yung tuna from Jensen. 
ang fresh fresh talaga niya. And we also have from Source of Gone, Alex Erlano. Hi, hello. So we also have Carol from Cavite. So we have from Manila, Mr. Jamwan from a recruitment agency. Hello also to Fabian Mark and to Jamlon and to uh, good afternoon. I am from Bicol Region. Hello Rowena. Hello everyone. Yes, and thank you all for your wonderful answers. Now if you have noticed, every one of us has their own different answer of what is popular in our community. You know, for some it's food, or the value food from Gentile. And of course, what is common among all of these is that it is not fixed. So there will always be something new that emerges new trends that develop as time marches on as they say. Now businesses today must now learn to adapt to these changes and know how to stay one step ahead of the trends and the competition. Now with the proper knowledge and skills, one can easily learn the trends and analyze the competition. But to emerge on top requires something more. It requires the mindset of a champion and a challenger, one who is ready to succeed to fail and to bounce back. That is why today we are going to know more about being being the next big biz. So how to build your brand success in today's topic, sustain your branding to enable growth and gain customer loyalty. We also have a very special promo today where those who apply during today's event will get free installation service on the back what a great deal interested applicants must fill out the application form and submit requirements within seven days to avail of the free installation promo so you guys must be part of the registration database to qualify now for viewers who are interested to apply for converge internet we will also be discussing more details later to add in breakout session so please express your intent to apply and ask your queries to our converge representatives in the breakout session. And of course, we are also going to have a raffle draw where we will be giving away lots of prizes. So today we'll be giving away 1,000 worth of DGC to one lucky winner. Isn't that exciting? And on top of that, we will be giving away a major prize of 3,000 worth of EGC for one lucky winner. Kaya abangan yan mamaya. And we also have a feedback form that we encourage everyone to answer in the latter part of the program. Now, those who will fill out this form will get a chance to win 1,000 worth of EGCs. Now, remember that substance is key. So only the feedback with substance are qualified for this giveaway. So don't forget to put some thought into the form when you submit it at the end of the program. And of course, we still wish that all of you have a chance to win our prize. So this is my tip for you for our feedback form. You know, you should really know the feedback that we have because we want to know your insight, we want to know what you think, right? And that is how you really win our prize, okay? And we have a lot of prizes, we have games, we have a lot of fun things in store for you today. So I'm very, very excited that you are all here with us today, all right? And don't forget to like and follow our Facebook page that is Converge for SME for more business tips and updates. So now we have something to show you to officially introduce how Converge business can help our SME. Everyone, let's watch this. Introducing Converge FlexiBiz. Be in control with your daily connection needs for maximum productivity. To fit your business needs. Have it at an all-time peak. Or adjust speeds during hours of the day. Whatever your business needs to support. Enjoy value for your money with a budget-friendly Reliable and flexible package made for you. No data cap. HR cost, especially business, is picking up. Another thing that this pandemic has become an advantage on our end is it accelerated the need for this technology. This is the kind of customized service that could turn trying times into thriving ones. It is a worthy investment because it is made for us, for you.
time to take control. Contact us to know more. Well, what a great video, and I'm sure that you all know the perks of having Converge. And as we live in the age of technological revolution, we need the most flexible internet to boost our productivity. And Converge offering such products is a great start, hindi ba? So now it is time to learn more about the next big biz. Now to provide us with the knowledge and power to succeed, let us welcome our very special guests, Branding consultant and strategist, Ms. Carla Cabrera. Thank you, Adi. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. And ready na ba kayo maging next big biz? Ayan. So today, I hope meron kayong matutunan. It's our day two for, for our branding uh, webinar series. And let me share my screen. Okay. All right. Okay, sorry. I missing. Okay, let me share my screen here. Ayun. Okay. So going back, so last time, no, medyo naumpisahan natin yung definition ng branding. And then ngayon, day two, we will talk about how to sustain, paano i-maintain yung branding to enable growth and gain customer loyalty. Ayan. Last time, I also uh, shared this slide. Branding is knowing defining and loving your brand identity. Sino ka ba? Yun? Ano ba yung business mo? Ano yung, kumbaga, pagkatao yan, di ba? Ng isang tao. Pero sa business, ano yung identity mo? Who are you? What defines you? At the end of the day, who will love you? But first, you have to love yourself, di ba? So, I also shared na ang objective nito, actually four weeks to, no? the whole month of October. At the end of the day, we give branding education kasi kulang pa rin tayo ng knowledge what the power of branding is. So hopefully, makarelate kayo. You can act on it, ma-implement You decide to implement as business owners and it's very applicable. Everything that I will teach is actionable and at the end of the day, we want to grow because may clarity and confidence na kayo sa branding identity nyo. Okay, another thing is a reality check. Sinare ko din to last time, no? Uh, we have to face reality first bago natin isolve uh, yung some concerns of any business through branding. Of course, branding is just one solution. So, we all know, dahil nag-umpisa rin ako ng S na SME, we focus more on operations, resources and cash flow. Branding is just an afterthought, meaning uh, gagawin ko ba yan or hindi? Option lang siya, di ba? So branding is also perceived to be expensive and tedious because naiintindihan siya, it's understood as a long-term uh, way for building value and equity. May value ba yung business mo? Meaning when you say value, why will I pay for it, di ba? There are two things of paying something because it solves someone's problem, di ba? Yun yun. And there's, later we will discuss the emotional and functional connection you can do with your customers. And there's still lack of awareness na ang branding can really enable and accelerate na papabilis ang growth uh, for the businesses. And branding is understood as marketing, which is hindi. Iba ang branding that's about your identity. Marketing is about your communication. Yun yung we discussed that in a while ago, uh, last week. No? So what is branding? We already defined that. Number one, you have to have a growth mindset. Gusto mo bang mag-grow? Because branding can actually help in that area. Of course, it's the sum of all the things in your business. Of course, you have to have a competitive product or service. But branding can definitely help. So kung he, we have to change our mindset. Branding is for the new mindset. Iba na ang panahon ngayon. You have to be uh, two steps ahead in whatever you're doing. 
So, in-explain ko rin yan that at the end of the day, what is branding? It's beyond your logo. It's the meaningful experience that is seen and felt, nakikita at nararamdaman sa loob ng business mo at sa labas. At the end of the day, long-term customer loyalty, brand love, dapat ang goal, yung loyalty. So, how do we implement it? I want to share that I have a proprietary model actually to do branding for SME or for the big companies that's called brand, branding, branded. So ngayon, nasa branding na tayo. So branding is, I said, beyond what you see, hindi lang logo yan or colors or pictures or images of your brand or name. Beyond that is how do you do connection and touch points that Uh, you create inside and outside your organization or your business. Paano ka kumukonek? Paano makaka-relate sa iyo yung customer mo? May dalawang paraan yan, which is emotional connection is, um, you know, we touch hearts. The reason why naging negosyante tayo or business owners, may purpose yan, di ba? So you have to emotionally connect with your market. So, they will be loyal to you. So, when you say emotionally connect, hindi yung drama, ha? It's building trust. ba? Diba? They feel peaceful when they use your product or service. It makes them grow as well. You know, madaming, madaming advantages and benefits sa buhay or sa career nila. That's why they avail of your service. For example, food, empanada. ba? Diba? Emotional connection doon is napapasaya mo sila pag kumain sila ng empanada mo because it gives uh, fulfillment and satisfaction to their craving. Yun yung emotional side. Now, the functional side is, ano yung lasa? ba diba? Masarap ba? Kasi kahit emotionally, ang galing ng ads mo, nainganyo mo sila to buy kasi ano siya, uh, mukhang masarap sa picture eh, di ba? Ang <laughs> ganoon. Pero functionally, pag tinikman, ay hindi pala masarap, di ba? Or kung mahal man siya, sulit ba, sabi nga nila, sulit or harang. So, yun yung functional side, yung price, yung lasa, yung ingredients, ano yung secret ingredient mo, bakit yung empanada mo, and what sets you apart? Ano yung iba? Kasi, busog sa laman, di ba? Puro laman, hindi puro extenders yon ng mga functional side. Because at the end, kung quality yan, masarap yan, it will satisfy them emotionally. And emotions are the drivers of decisions of customers. So that's actually branding. More than your logo. And, and remember, ah, branding is seen and felt. Nakikita at nararamdaman. Kaya nga, di ba, yung McDonald's where may campaign sila, love ko to, di ba? So, I hope I, I I was able to give this, um co- this is very important. A lot actually misses this concept of branding. Or to what can branding do? As as consultant and coaches, dito yung, this is where we serve our clients, you know? We design the connection and touch points of our particular business. Yeah. So, yeah, just to sum it up, Brand engagement ang tawag dyan. Pag na-combine nyo yung emotional and functional attachment with your customer, then you have engagement. What's branding engagement? Involved ba sila? ba? Diba? Involved ba sila sa brand mo, sa produkto mo, sa activities mo? ba? Diba? For example, yung iba sasabihin, o yung Toyota person ako, ba? Diba? Involved siya kapag merong mga news about Toyota. ba? Diba? Alam niya yun. He, she follows it on social media, kung favorite thing for tuner na car. So, madama, madaming walang secret or fixed formula for brand engagement. Really, the, the thing is you have to be authentic when you do brand engagement, meaning you have to be sincere. Dapat totoo ka when you do your social media and everything. So, they can relate to you. They can eventually trust you. You can build the credibility and trust If there's no trust, there's no loyalty. So if you get the customer loyalty, that is profitability. That is sales. And if you maintain your profitability, what does it mean? May growth. Yan, di ba? Especially now, there's inflation. Hopefully not recession. You have to think twice on how to sustain yourselves. And it's your brand identity that will keep you stable. Kung sino ka as a brand. And as a business, 
So, dapat objective nyo yan palagi pag gumagawa kayo ng business plan. Because branding is a part of business strategy. It's not an expense investment yan. May kapalit yan in the long run. Okay? And it has to start inside your organization. I just want to give an example. For example, brand engagement. May new employees, you know, kung malit ka lang, libre mo sila. When you say brand engagement, experiential yan, eh, di ba? Because branding is, what's inside is about your brand culture. Ano ba kultura? Kahit dalawa lang empleyado mo. Uh, who you are as a brand should translate to who you are with your employees. Hindi pwedeng iba yon yon Inside and out yan. Very consistent dapat yan. At coherent as a whole, nararamdaman nila yung brand. And actually, hiring pa lang, dapat swak na dapat yung hire mo sa kultura mo at sa branding mo, di ba? So, mer- meron kaming mga models for that uh, as we serve. Okay, another example, sa customer naman, outside, di ba? Inside employees. Outside is actually yung mga promos mo, pa paano mo ginagawa, anong experience, anong touch points that's emotional and functional in connection. So, sabi nga, immersive meaning yung stranger things, di ba? May exhibit sila sa Gloriette. Di ba? Na-steer ako nun. Nanood ako ng stranger things emotionally. And functionally happy ako kasi ang ganda ng story. Di ba? Ganun yun. So, it, it's a combination of inside and outside. And sino talaga ang ambassador ng brand nyo? Kayo as an owner. So, that's about it. Um, Actually, uh, I, how I wish we have more time Uh, basically, just to sum it up, branding, if you want to grow and sustain it, you have to be true to yourself, true to your customers, <laughs> true to yourself as a business, be true with your products and services. Means, kasi mga Pilipino, tayo, medyo nagsishort ka tayo, please always give quality and sincerity. And that's part of an effective branding for growth. And, you know, there are brands who who actually stayed alive amidst of the pandemic because they they have a following, di ba? Talagang love sila ng customer sila kahit nag-pandemic, hindi huminto sa pagka-follow sa kanila. So, meron kasing talagang dapat ongoing effort na ginagawa regarding connecting with your customers. Okay, so I would love to take some questions. That's about it. And um, basically, um. I just want to let you know that I'm coaching and I'm a consultant also for branding for SMEs. So I'm uh, visible through social media. So just connect with me on LinkedIn and Instagram or email me. Basta remember, create a brand. Palakasin niyo yung branding niyo. Yung connection, hindi nawawala yun hanggang forever may business. And at the end, pag branded identity ka na, which is next week, we'll discuss that. You have value already in equity. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Any questions? Uh, back to you, Adi. Yeah. Thank you so much, Parler, for that very informative talk. And of course, I'd like to encourage everyone to go raise their questions later. Para doon sa mga gusto magkapotok ng business in the future sa ating Q&A segment, mamaya. Okay, and of course, I really love everything that Carla said. Alam mo, importante talaga to really dig deep into yourself and really know who are you as a business. Diba, sino ba ako? What do I want to be known for? Because that's really how you're going to be getting your customers, diba? Kailangan talaga, you believe in yourself and you understand yourself para you know yung pwede niyo palabas sa customers niyo, o diba? Nabi parang life advice ang binibigay natin today to Ms. Carla. Alright, so now that we have heard from Carla, it is now time for us to stretch our backs and relax with a game. Ayan, alam namin, excited, excited to us mga games na to. So this game is called Four Picks, One Word. So here are the mechanics. So I will be showing you four pictures that all share a common word. So the goal is to find the common word based on the number of letters provided at the beginning of the game. So the word length will also be shown under the four pictures and the first person to guess the word in the chat box wins the prize. Now the correct word will be displayed once someone gets it right. So a little hint, some words are related to converge or are relevant 
to the topic of today's event. Now for our prizes, we are having three winners. So for the prizes, it will be three 500 pesos worth of GCs. Wow, a good little prize chat today. And now let us all begin. We know you are very, very excited. So let me know in the chat box that you are ready. Game na game na tayo. Let us start the game. So let me know in the chat box. Test mo na yung chat box. Baka mamaya, hindi yan gumagana para sa inyo. At alam nyo pala yung sagot. Ayan. Ready. Wow, ang daming ready. Okay, so let's go to the first set of photos. Let's bring out set number one. Ayan. Oh, short word lang to. So we have one, two, six. Letters. Ayan. So let us see. Mag type lang kayo dyan. Mag guess kayo. And if someone gets it right. Okay. Wow. Ang bilis. Nakita ko na yung sagot. Okay. So let us see. The correct answer is growth. Okay. So let's see. Sino kaya yung unang nakasagot ng growth. Okay. And the winner is Admin Absolute. Yes, congratulations to you. You are absolutely the winner. Okay, so congratulations. You won 500 pesos worth of GCs. Ayan, o diba? Ganun kadali yung game. And don't worry, we still have more sets of photos for you guys. So you still have a chance to win. Let's bring out the next set of photos. Okay, so let's see the four photos. So this is a long word. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Ten letters. Oh, ang bilis nyo naman sumagot. Okay, and the correct answer is connection. Ayan. So wow, dami nakukuha na to. So congratulations to Mary Chris Javier. You just won 500 worth of GC. All right. So we have one more set of photos. So let us bring it out. So let's see who's going to be our third winner for this game. Okay, so let's see. One more set of photos. Ang mahaba rin yung word na to. <laughs> so let's see. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Ten letter word. Ayan, mag-guess lang kayo. Go. Para maka... <laughs> oh wait, meron na nakakuha ng sagot. Okay, so let's see. The correct answer is... Attachment. Ayan. Oy, ang galing nyo. Ah. Ang galing nyo. Congratulations to Ramoncito Segudense. Wow. Challenging naman ang name mo. Pero winner ka. So congratulations to all three winners. Each of you won 500 worth of GCs. Ayan. So congratulations to all of you. And of course, thank you to everyone for participating. So I hope that you are all freshened up by our game. And we love that you are all really, really so part really participating today. Ang bilis nyo sa Bogota, in fairness. Ang galing nyo. Okay, so we also had a very special promo for today where those who apply during today's event will get free installation service. Adaba, what a great deal. So interested applicants must fill out the application form and submit the requirements within seven days to avail of the free installation promo. So you guys must be part of the registration database to qualify. Now for viewers who are interested to apply for Converge Internet, we will also be discussing more details later in the Atin Breakout session. So please express your intent to apply and ask for queries to our Converge representatives in the breakout session. Also a reminder that we have a feedback form that we encourage everyone to answer after the program. So the one with the winning feedback gets to win 1,000 worth of EGCs and stay tuned because we still have 5,000 total worth of EGCs to give away later on. Also, don't forget that we are on Facebook. You can like and follow our Facebook page that's Converge for SME for more business tips and updates. And again, I would like to remind everyone present in the Zoom to please rename yourselves in Zoom to your registered full name so we can recognize you. Now, please be reminded as well to mute your microphone to avoid unnecessary noise during the program. Now, if you need any assistance with this, you may chat with any of our co-hosts in the Zoom or simply type your questions in the chat box. All right, so now, let us hear stories naman from our satisfied customers and how Converge helped help boost their business. Everyone, let's watch this. My name 
meeting is Nate Nanang and I'm the Business Development Manager of PLX or Pure Logistics Express. I usually check uh, or like order received or delivery updates. I also check our, our systems, IT systems, wh whether they have errors or if the transactions are smooth. There's no morning routine in PLX because we operate 24-7. That's what we are proud of because since our business is essential, flow of goods is essential, we are always uh, ready to cater anytime. We have 290 employees, which includes the regular employees. PLX has groceries and liquor goods, which are brought to the dry warehouse, and meat and perishable products, which are brought to the cold storage. We also stored some of the DOH vaccine here. PLX, uh, yeah, we felt the pandemic. We felt the hardships of the pandemic, like 50% decrease, but we were able to survive since there were many restrictions and we were under the essential industry. We still operated. Pure Logistics is a subsidiary of Asia Cargo Container Line Inc. or ACCLI. It is a one-stop shop logistics provider. It does brokerage and logistics and it, is, it has been around for already 27 years. And then that's how PLX came about. During the pandemic, we mostly do conference calls and Zoom meetings which are inevitable since we can't do face-to-face. -face. Yes, and, and alongside with that, our operations like the like delivery updates or the receiving, we need those on our IT systems. So Converse has helped us become more up-to-date and faster communication with clients. Wow, what a great video. Thank you so much, PLX. And I'm sure marami sa inyo ang may questions for all the information presented today. So that is why we are now going to proceed with our Q&A session. So you may type in your questions in our chat box. And if you have any queries, now is the time to do so. And for this segment, we will have our speaker to answer your queries. So maybe please welcome back on screen, Ms. Carla. Hi, Ms. Carla. How are you hello, doing? Hello, hello. Thanks, Adi. So, draw me your questions. Ano yeah, na tayo? Okay, so uh, have to uh, questions. Nothing formal. This can be conversational. Okay. Chikahan lang tayo sa mga questions nyo. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. first question is, our business is online-based. What are ways we can create brand engagement with our customers? Online, okay. Well, the social media is actually an exciting way to do brand engagement. Madame, <laughs> actually, I there, there is no generic answer to that. Depends on your products and services, but you have to have a content that is compelling, meaning irresistible. Na madaming makakarelate na connected sa product or service nyo. So, marirelate dapat yun ang customer nyo. Okay. So, what kind of online business yun? Sana pwede ko tanungin para magbigay ako ng example. For example, clothes. Diba? Um, yun ang online business mo. Uh, RTW. Okay. So, dapat may content ka para ma-engage sila. So, you can... There are several ways to do a content plan. Like, there's a theme, like Monday. Anong OOTD mo for Monday, di ba? So, depends kung ano yung target market mo. Nasa A, B, C. So, yung tono rin ng content mo, dapat sincere and authentic. Tapos, pwedeng question para magkaroon sila ng feedback. Kasi, ang engagement rate talagang mini-measure. Hindi lang impressions online. No? When you say impressions yung nakakita lang. Pero yung nag-like, nag-comment, yun yung engagement. It means involved sila, nakaka-relate sila sa post nyo. So, kailangan yung post nyo, tandaan nyo, related sa product or service. At the same time, uh, you're thinking about your audience, not just yourself as a product and service. Iintindihin yung needs ng audience nyo. And that can be an inspiration in creating brand engagement online. Ayan. Medyo, ano eh, uh, pwede siya simplify <laughs> pero it's something that you have to brainstorm about 
and you really have to plan carefully with your marketing team or with a consultant. That's it. Yeah, so speaking of brainstorming, so the next question is, how can I inspire my employees to voluntarily endorse the concept and values that my brand stands for? Okay, um, it's called brand culture or branded culture. I uh, inspire them because you walk the talk. Ayan. Uh, usually, hiring pa lang, tinitignan mo na yung tamang personality na bagay sa brand culture. For example, you're an online store of clothes. So, kailangan ang i-hire mo medyo may sense of fashion. Yun. Para pag pumasok siya, and then dapat ini-implement niya yung culture ng kumpanya na branded, kung aligned yun sa brand identity niyo. So, HR should actually, when we do branding uh, workshops to our clients, included lahat. Yung mga head ng HR, even IT, finance, kasi isa lang naman ang identity ng kumpanya, di ba? So, lahat dapat aligned doon, lahat relate doon, and hopefully some will develop and get inspired in what you do. For example, um, I have a friend, no? Uh, taga Shell siya. Tapos sabi niya, ang tagal ko na sa Shell. As in, mahal ko yung kumpanya ko, hindi na ako pwede umalis kasi lahat dito ako nag-grow, dito ako. You know, it's really the experience inside the organization. And usually may briefing naman yan, lalo na pag nag-revitalize ng brand, may mga workshop who we are, ina-update yung mission, vision, values. So, madami pang activities. But if you're just an SME, not just, but kahit isa lang empleyado mo, dapat i-align mo siya. Ipong sasabihin mo, this is who we are. Ito, this is where we stand. Ito yung image natin. Ito yung purpose natin why we're doing the business. So, dapat pa lang sa uh, interview pa lang to hire, tinatanong mo na yan mga yun kung naiintindihan nila, kung gusto nila yun. And not just uh, plus the skills, of course. So, medyo malalim ang take, but uh, yeah, uh, it's gonna be worth it and worthwhile because once they, the ambassadors are not just your hired models or talents to endorse your brand. It's actually your employees, even the security guard. <laughs> diba? There's the security guard from Ayala Malls, si Manong Rizal. He's really making a mark because he's really expressing who Ayala is and and he's making a difference and uh, he's he's doing his job uh, exciting and aligned with the brand. So, ganun daw. Yeah, thank you very much. That's really great advice. I mean, it's one of the things that business uh, businesses don't really think about. Kailangan talaga every single employee, the brand. Kailangan every value the brand has. Dapat ma embody it na So that's a really great thing to remember as well. So they're all you know, part. They're all a summary of who you are. So everyone counts. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really true. Also, that and. It, as business owners, you should also be valuing every single person who works for you as well, which is something that we consider when putting up businesses as well. Okay, so let's, let's go back to uh, the talk about engagement. So we have a question from Patricia. She said, hi, Paul, just wanted to ask a um, misconception means of engagement ay para lang makabenta. Paano namin mapapalakas ito ng hindi nagbubukang hindi natural o hindi pilit? Okay, um, parang lang makabenta. Actually, sales is the consequence of branding. Diba? But actually, there are, I cannot blame them. There are uh, companies who just fo focus on sales, which is for me short term. Uh, kasi ang sales pwedeng mawala. Pag wala ka ng promo, wala nang bibili. Very sales focus. Pero branding is more of a relationship and connection. So, kailangan sincere ka, actually. Natural, uh, depende yun paano nyo sinusul sinusulat yung content nyo, yung spill nyo, yung script. And dapat siya authentic, sincere siya. Diba? Um, we cannot really manufacture ang hindi totoo. Diba? Plus, yung sino magde-deliver, ano yung tono. 
Madaming pamamaraan yan. Pero if you have a very good product and service, you just have to be sincere about that. You don't have to worry kung natural o hindi. Pero kung hard sell talaga na sales, ibang usapan yun. Kasi if you're gonna ask me, I'm a branding person, I always wanna help and support profitability through a branding way of things. Not, uh, sales is a consequence. Kumbaga, magiging preference ka na ng customer because you have connected with them, you have solved their problem, and you know, nag-grow na yung brand love, then that's, ang inaano mo kasi, ang tinatarget mo, loyalty. Hindi mo ba sila pipilitin bumili kasi nabola mo lang sila, hindi sila babalik. Hindi ka gaya ng loyalty, they will continue to patronize and buy from you. That's yeah, it. I think that's really great advice. Like really trying to build that customer loyalty, which of course you can only do with branding and not flat out selling <laughs> straight to their face on social media. And speaking of social media, we have another question about that. So this is from Kyla. She said, good afternoon, Paul. We're planning to use social media to further promote our store. What would be the best way to keep our customers' engagement and loyalty? Well, again, no, uh, it needs careful planning. First, define mo muna yung brand identity mo. Kasi yun yung anchor. Naka-ankla lahat dun. <laughs> so, kung ano yung content plan mo bago, sabi ko nga nung day one, strategy muna bago execution. So, um, if you're going to social media, of course, you have, it's a must. Hindi na pinag-iisipan yan. Uh, ganyan na ang buhay ngayon. It's a digital life. Everyone buys online already. Uh, or you can blend your physical store and your online store. So, hindi na, hindi na bago yung mag-social media. And please make it quick. Make it today. <laughs> And now, uh, define first your brand identity. Again, it starts with the vision, the mission, the values of your company. And we have to define that first. Yon. Tapos, biglang pwede ka na magkaroon ng content plan which will trigger and result to engagement. Yes, that's really, really great advice. So let's talk about um, more of the store. So the question is, since our store is small, paano namin magbibigyan ng opportunity ang mga customers namin to experience the benefits of our products? Okay, please remember, branding is not only your products and services. It's the human relationship that goes around it. Kahit Napakaliit pa na kios niya. First experience is your salesperson. Engagement na agad yun. Di ba? If they're trained, trained and uh, you have a mindset of branding, you will align them who you are. So, dinidesign niya pa paano yung approach niya sa sales. Paano niya i-train ba siya to give extra advice when they're buying something? Is your salesperson trained to answer problems when they approach your store? It doesn't matter if it's the whole floor in a store or a kiosk. The 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 more the touch point first is actually the sales environment and the person conducting the sales. Diba minsan ako nga pagbibiling sapatos para si ate dead man lang sa akin. <laughs> Lalo ng greeting, di ba? Sometimes, yung mga simpleng, you have to, hi ma'am, how can I help you? That's already brand engagement. Kahit walang store, kahit may isa ka lang, parang shelf, dyan may nakata, yung nagre-represent ng brand mo. That's already the start of engagement. Ayun, yan ang tip dyan. And all other things inside your store. Yes, that's a really great point, actually, that engagement is not just limited to when the customer gets the product. So it's everything from the, the employees you have to the display to the store. So that's a really great thing to remember also. No, because our brand identity should be seen and felt in every little thing. You have to walk the talk. That's The devil is in the details. 
So, if you have the right mindset in implementing branding, mararamdaman niya ng customers. Yeah, that's really great advice. So, we have more questions from the chat box. So, Julian is asking, what strategies would you recommend for ensuring customer satisfaction, loyalty, and retention? Again, uh, dinidesign yan. Uh, uh, may plano yan, may strategy yan. Hindi yan one-shot deal. It's an ongoing thing until your business is alive. Yun. Hindi yan nag end And you adjust kasi naririnig mo yung needs. Nagbabago ang needs ng customers mo. Minsan may bago kang segment pala ng customers. So, aralin mo ulit. So, madaming paraan ng customer loyalty. But at the end of the day, it has to be continuous and consistent yung effort uh, in, in gaining their trust first. Kasi no trust, no loyalty. So, importante, how do they gain the trust? Happy ba sila sa'yo? Service-wise, yung produkto mo masarap ba? Diba? For example, may food tayo na forever ata natin kinakain na nagka-crave ka na, no? oh, kailangan makakain ako sa Via Mare, di ba? It's been there for 50 years. So, yun ang loyalty, di ba? Kahit yung mommy mo, lola mo, dun talaga kumakain through the generation. So, there is really, uh, it's really a plan I cannot really answer, but at the end of the day, it's about the experience and how you gain trust. Yeah, so thank you for that advice. Actually, para yung mga audience natin today, they really want to know so much more about how to gain loyalty and trust because our next question is from Jasmine. And her question is, pagdating hapon po, ang tanong ko lang, what is important to gaining customer loyalty and trust? I feel like giving a concrete example would be very helpful with this question para ma-imagine din nila, paano kaya natin gagawin ito? Uh... Actually, madami sa service, sa quality ng products mo and services, um, price value, is it, sabi ko nga, is it harap or sulit, di ba? Uh, sa atin, minsan mura nga, pero hindi naman satisfying. So, how do you gain a person's trust? Basically, yun yun. So, arali niyo yung needs tsaka behavior ng customer nyo, ng target market. Number one, did you define your target market? Sino ba sila? Mothers? Gen Z? <laughs> so, lahat yan din define Alamin nyo yung, one time I came across uh, an ice cream brand. Uh, yun kasi malaking company, so nag-research talaga sila. Nandalawa pala yung behavior ng kanilang customers. One is, they eat ice cream because uh, they feel like it's their reward for working hard, not because they're being unhealthy, but they have a healthy lifestyle. So yun, isipin mo kasi ng mabuti, paano sila magiging loyal sa'yo? Uh, because loyalty is the gateway to profitability. Ilan yung magiging loyal sa'yo? May measures na may mga rewards program, Functional connection na yun. Diba? Remember the emotional and functional. Palagi yung lista mo, how do I touch their hearts? And how I how do I satisfy their needs? And how do I solve their problems? And if you do that consistently, it's likely they will be loyal to you. Yeah, so speaking of loyalty, we have a question from Gemlon. How to sustain customer loyalty? So let's say, uh, you already got them, uh, they're a loyal customer, but how do you keep them as a loyal customer? Well, internally, you have to have metrics, uh, standards to your employees. Everyone is part of the solution. So kahit magaling yung salesperson mo, kung late palaging delivery mo, and that will affect uh, walang support yung salesperson mo. Palagi nilang siya, ma'am, sorry, out of stock. <laughs> so, yun, madaming paraan. You have to really work hard as a company uh, to sustain the loyalty. Kung baga, sabi nga ni Warren Buffett, it takes five minutes to ruin a reputation. 
So it also includes taking care of your reputation by being consistent. Like you're two steps ahead na kahit sinabi mong 3 o'clock yung delivery, 1 p.m. nandiyan na. Uh, actually, to be honest, yan ang challenge natin mga Pilipino. Medyo behind tayo sa service. Um, kaya kulang yung training maybe or because it takes a little budget to also be at par or to to sustain the service levels. Kaya di ba may mga companies na kahit maliit ka lang naman, pwede ka mag-set ng expectations sa sa halimba, customer service rep mo, yung nakikipag-usap ng sales. Oh, when you talk to them, ganito yung workflow ha. Meron ka dapat guide. Hindi yung bahala ka na basta magbenta ka. So, <laughs> yun yung kailangan yung mindfulness and awareness is very high. May check and balance yan. So, to retain customer loyalty, it's hard work and it's for the long term. But it's worth it kasi you will, the profitability will be stronger pag ganun. Sometimes, pareho lang kayo ng product or service ng competitor mo. Pero mas magaling ka mag-service. You just need one point to set yourself apart. They will be more loyal to you. ba? Diba? Kahit pareho lang yung tinapay. ba? Diba? Parehong masarap na pandesal. Pero mas magaling service nung kabila. They most, they buy to feel good, you know? And not to feel bad. Again, ano ka ba? Decide. Sulit o haram? <laughs> so that's actually my expression when I buy this is sulit to. Ah. Ito, harang to. Ah. So, yun. So, values nyo yan sa company. Magbibigay ba kayo ng pangharang lang or sulit? Yeah, thank you very much for that answer. So, let's talk more about uh, improving the employees because as you said, the employees are really the frontliners. They're the ones who really represent your business. So, what are the simple ways we can do to create engagement with our employees without spending? Without spending. Hmm. <laughs> Parang challenge yun na. Ah, it's behavioral kung libre. <laughs> Meaning, kasi when you train your employees, you still spend. No? Ibang ang kumpanya, they get a coach or a trainer. Uh, pag masipag ka as an owner, kuwanti lang naman yung employees mo. You can train them themselves how to behave. Because their behavior will actually attract and build the engagement towards the customer, especially yung frontliner. Tapos may iba sabihin, eh hindi naman ako maharap sa customer. Eh. Importante ka rin kasi ikaw yung back end. Ikaw yung support ng front end. So lahat yan, iti-train mo. You really have to give time if you don't have, sabi nga nila, time, talent, or treasure. If you don't have the treasure, much treasure, you give your time and talent. And as an owner, ikaw ang inspiration and motivation. Sa'yo mag-uumpisa yan. So, kung ikaw yung role model, may influence mo sila to, to give the best service and that would attract engagement. And have a feedback system. Yes, really, really great suggestion. So, we have our last question from Eileen. Her question is, our biggest challenge these days is staying relevant since we have lots of competitors. Any tips for on maintaining relevance to media? Thank you. Okay, so Converge is there to make us relevant. Why? Because it helps us to plug in in the digital realm of things, which is the trend now in everything. Your life, selling, doing business is all online. So, um. It's very important to be relevant by accepting change. Sabi ko nga, uh, pe people of substance, they don't fade. They evolve. Willing ba kayong mag-evolve? Mag-change? Uh, change is always there. There are companies um, who changes their brand every three years. Three years lang. Um, holiday and change after three decades at, at ng branding. But again, you will not fade if you know how to evolve. Uh, that's staying relevant. And kailangan talaga 
yung purpose mo malakas, no? You always find ways to solve problems of your customers. An ending naman yan. It's up to you if you're just being stale and you're not allowing your company and yourself to grow. Uh, then it's hard to do business without a purpose, especially tayong mga owners sa SMEs. What makes you wake up in the morning, di ba? What drives you? So, because you're always thinking, I have a purpose, I'm relevant to my customers. And how do I become relevant? Always continuously understanding their needs and how to solve it through my products and services. So, kailangan meron tayong purpose sa lahat. Yes, thank you so much for all the advice you've given us and for answering all our questions. So that actually wraps up our Q&A segment. So thank you so much for joining us today, Ms. Carla. Thank you. I enjoyed and now I wish I had more time, but I'm excited because we're here every week. So I'm looking forward to see everyone again. Thank you, Adi, and have a great day, everyone. Yes, thank you so much, Ms. Carla. So we are now going to move on to our breakout session. So with this, we have our facilitators to lead each breakout room. Now we have our representatives here who will be answering your questions today. So feel free to ask questions as we put each of you in your respective breakout rooms. And of course, we will be having our raffle segment later on. So please be back here in our main room after our breakout session. So we will now be inviting you to your breakout rooms. Please accept the invitation that pops up on your screen and proceed by clicking join. Now, if you missed the prompt, just look for the breakout session icon below and click on the room you want to join. So when the time is up, we will be closing the breakout room and you will automatically be brought back here to our main room. So please don't leave the meeting or you might miss out on our rep on our raffle later on, all right? So I'm gonna clear everyone. Okay, so let's start with our breakout session and we will see you all back here in the main room later on. Have a great breakout session, everyone. Woke up feeling like the baddest bitch I've ever known. Feeling even stronger than I've ever felt before. Push me to the limit, now I'm in a different zone. Now you're all alone. Now you're all alone And I know that I was always good to see it And I fell into the games that you were playing Yeah, you would take the person I'll be in But you never see me like this Oh, I know why I feel so amazing Yeah, imagine I know you're gonna hate it Now I got the power and I claim it So baby, read my lips I say, no, no I say yes too many times Now it's no, no, no Told you I'm no longer under your control Oh, oh, no, I'm not the kind
On this side, little trust and some passion be nice. It's all I desire. I need it, I cannot deny. Oh, hey, I don't see something for my eyes only. Things I can find in the middle of the night. I'm still up, I'm still trying to decide. Should I drink up, smoke up, need some freedom, freedom uh, in my life? Should I drink up, smoke up, need some freedom, freedom? Show me a little attention. Oh, oh, oh. 
I do the same thing I told you that I never would. I told you I changed, even when I knew I never could. Know that I can't find nobody else as good as you. I need you to stay, need you to stay. I get drunk, wake up, I'm wasted. Can't be right. I saw the fire in your eyes. I saw the fire when you're looking through your eyes. You tell me things you wanna try. I am confused.
Hello everyone and welcome back to our main room and thank you so much to our dear representatives for taking the time to join us today. Now I hope you guys learned a lot and enjoyed our breakout sessions. And now to officially close our program today, let's give a virtual round of applause to the National Sales Director for SME, Sir Eldridge Boo Aldridge. Hello, ako na ba? Sorry. Hi, hi, good afternoon. Thank you all for giving me this opportunity to, to just close this session. My name is Blue Aldrich, and I, I'd like to share a few things before we wrap up our, our session this afternoon. So, magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. Hello, Adi. Apologies for the slight technical delays. Uh, I won't take much of your time. I, I, I just want to, to share with you you know, our, 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 the good things that we've been doing in, in Converge uh, through the years. And and, and I, I won't take, take much of your time. So I, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just um, adjust the, the PowerPoint presentation there. So again, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Blue Aldridge. Uh, I look after Converge ICT, the business segment. So I just uh, I just like to wrap up some things before I before we set you off for which I hope was a fulfilling afternoon for you. So a bit about myself. I am happily married, father of three. I'm a Christian, and I've been bringing technology to businesses for the past twenty five years. Okay, and and. Alam mo kami dito sa Converge, ang pangarap namin is to fiber power the Filipino nation. And, and through all the years of, of struggles with internet connectivity and infrastructure in the Philippines, um, I'm proud to say that Converge ICT did play a very important part in making two fiber to business to the home a reality in the Philippines. So what we do here is that we, we want to delight you, our clients, and we aspire to be a world-class ICT organization. So alam mo kasi ang kwento kasi dito, lahat tayo pagkatapos ng pandemic, lahat tayo, we are all adjusting, pivoting to, to work on you no know, proper way to do things. Sa, kas sa kasansaga ng, sa gitna ng pandemia, we wired close to 1 million Filipino homes. And, and alam mo, meron kaming mga, mga contractor na naka full P, uh, PPE suits habang umaakit ng mga poste. Halos every three days may antigen test kami. Because in that period, we really had to step up and provide connectivity for Filipinos. So, kahit sa mga liblib na barangay, hinahabol namin yan. And tahimik lang kami, but, but yung paghihirap na yan at yung pagsisikap na, na linyahan ng buong Pilipinas has, has definitely uh, born fruit. We are looking at 1.8 million households that are on Converge, 35,000 businesses, not counting another 30,000 who are home-based businesses. So we do cater to enterprise, public sector, to wholesale, SME, and consumers. So it's been very, very busy um, looking at all the different milestones, all the different things that we're doing very aggressively, rolling out, putting fiber in areas na wala, aggressive, aggressive promos, 
um, business solutions all coming together. So um, we are chosen by banks, by schools, by FSIs, retailers, definitely national government, all local telcos and global carriers. We are servicing them. And just, just to put into articulation, we're looking at half a million kilometers of fiber, fiber optic cable, um, 20 landing station, 119,000 kilometers of fiber backbone. Just showing you that we're very aggressively rolling out to wire the entire Philippines in a true fiber network. And of course, and dami natin mga bisita dito from Benguet all the way down to Sarangani, uh, we are now live and servicing Philippines. So also, kinagigiliwang kong sabihin that we are voted the Philippines top rated network um, in terms of user satisfaction. We mean business when we say we want true customer satisfaction. We're working hard for that. And of course, we have multiple, multiple solutions. You can be a small milk tea shop all the way up to a large conglomerate. And we have very specific enterprise SME corporate and household solutions to make sure that the bandwidth that you need and the bandwidth requirements and so with aggressive pricing, we can offer that to you. So before I close, you know, I'd just like to share with your advocacy. We're very serious about nation building, building communities, and educating our business clients. And of course, just to wrap up, um, you know, we serve online shops, groceries, hardware, uh, spa salons, testing centers across the board, food establishment, government manufacturing, financial services, and people's. So I'll be, I'll be, I'll be wrapping up my, my discussion today. Maraming salamat. I'd like, I'd like to thank you all for, for joining us this afternoon. I'd just like to say hello to, to some special guests, uh, people who, who've attended with us uh, this afternoon. Uh, specifically, um, from Bayugan, the attendees from Bayugan, uh, Ma'am Ivy Asis of Agusan del Sur uh, Laboratory School, from Ma'am Mary Conteras uh, from Bayugan National Comprehensive High School. So maraming salamat sa inyo. Um, again, looking forward to invite you for more Let's Talk Flexibis. We have this every every week. So if you can join us and I'm ending my talk there. If you need anything, mag screenshot lang tayo. Ito po ang personal number ko. And don't put an email ko. And of course, I hope you're happy with what we have prepared for you this afternoon. So turning the floor over to you, Adi, and, and a pleasant, pleasant good afternoon to you all. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much, Sir Blue, for that very informative talk. So now we have come to the most awaited part of our program, the wrap of draw. Ayan na, alam natin ito yung exciting, exciting part para sa inyong lahat. But of course, we have some mechanics. So you must be present here in our main room to qualify for the raffle. So if you see your names on screen, you may type here in the chat box or present so we can see you. Now, if not, we will have to redraw and pick a new possible winner, okay? Is that clear? Aba, ang dami lang dag test Here, present, yes, correct. So muna kita nyo na kayo yung winner. So all you have to do is to type in the chat box that you are here and that you are present. Okay, so are you all ready for the raffle? Yes, let me know in the chat box if you are ready. Okay, so also a reminder that your names in the Zoom should be renamed to your registered full name so we can recognize you. Ayan, so everyone is ready. Okay, so I won't keep you guys waiting any longer. So for this raffle draw, we are going to be giving away 1,000 worth of UGCs to one lucky winner. Okay, so let's see. I'm sure you're all excited. So let's start. Let's bring out the wheel. Ayan, there's the tayo wheel. And everyone's names are just here in the wheel. Okay, so let's see. Let's see who 
our first possible winner is the Dragon Suspense. And the first winner is if you are here, let us know in the chat box. And of course, dapat maka match yung name mo dito. Sa name mo dito sa Zoom. Yes, Perez, and congratulations, Manny. You just won 1,000 worth of GCs. Wow, congratulations to you. So next up, we will be giving away our major prize of 3,000 worth of EGCs to one lucky winner. Okay, so let's start. Let's bring out our wheel. Ayan, ang dami natin names today. So let's see, let's bring that wheel. Ayan, excited na ba kayo? Wow, excited si Manny. Yahoo, thank you. Yes, thank you Manny for joining us today. So let's see the wheel is... Okay, I'll add this one to you guys. Possible winner, please. Congrats, we need to make chance to have all your presents and presents talaga dito. So, let's see. Okay, let's see. And the winner is... Orno. Okay. Okay, so that's a very secret chart. Okay, so let's see. Let's see who our next possible winner is. Probably major prize natin. Mag-inap tayo. Let's, let's find who our winner is. Okay, and our next possible winner is... Se Aquino. Okay, so Se Aquino. Okay, absent daw si Se. Okay, so let's see who the next possible winner is. Alright, let's see, let's see. Let's see the kaya yung mananalo. And 3,000 worth of EGCs. So we have Heidi Buena Obra. Okay. I said no shot. Okay, so let's pick our next possible winner. Let's spin that wheel. Grabe naman. Grabe yung suspense sa ating major prize. So let's see. Ang daming nagtatype na present. Representatives will send you an email within 24 hours to give details on how to claim your prizes. Now, the winner of the last 1,000 worth of GC is the one with the most winning feedback. So, we encourage everyone to answer the feedback form right after this event. So, all you have to do is to scan this and then we will automatically be brought to the feedback form. We would love to get everyone's feedback and insight. So, please do answer the feedback form. So all you have to do is to scan the QR code flashing on screen and our team will be screening all your feedback and the winner will be receiving an email from our Converge representative after our show. All right? So that was a jam-packed program, am I right? And I hope you guys all enjoyed today's event as much as I have. We also have a very special promo for today where those who apply during today's event will get free installation service on about what a great deal so interested applicants must fill out the application form and submit requirements within seven days to avail a free installation promo so you guys must be part of the registration database to qualify now for viewers who are interested to apply for converge internet feel free to reach out to us and we will definitely help you get connected so you can also like and follow our facebook page that's converge for sme for more business tips and updates so there you go we have now come to the end part of our program and as we have all learned today as times change more and more avenues for us to expand our businesses will continue to arise which is why it's important to innovate and provide new ways to stay connected one thing that will never change, however, is our need for steady connection. And with Converge, we can help you maintain constant communication with your audience, continuous creation and consumption of content while providing you immediate support for your needs. 
Thank you again for joining us today here at Converge Let's Talk Flexi Business. Once again, my name is Addy and I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us today and we hope you had such a great time with us and we hope you all have a great, great day. Thank you everyone. Bye.